right ahead and switch to overload. And nobody's gonna go to school today. She's gonna make them stay at home. Daddy doesn't understand it. He was said she was good as gold. And he could see no reasons, cause there are no reasons. What reasons do you need to be shown? Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. I wanna shoot. How's it going folks? This is Wayne Hart, back with another lesson and an absolutely amazing 70s tune today by the Boontown Rats, I Don't Like Mondays. Uh, absolutely amazing song this, uh, I actually really like the Boontown Rats back in the day. They were sort of a, a punk pop band, you know, came after the sort of uh, explosion of punk and they, they just, you know, put a bit more of a pop element into it and uh, obviously this was the huge hit that they had, the big number one. Yeah, it's great to play on a guitar, so uh, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, so you can play this song in standard tuning, but I've actually kept it true to the original and I've tuned it down a semitone. So uh, good advice for that is if you put a capo on the first fret, get your tuner, put it into standard tuning, take your capo off, and then you've gone down a semitone, okay? Uh, so for the purpose of this lesson and keeping it true to the original, I am tuned the semitone down. But if you wanted to, like I say, you could play it in standard tuning. Uh, now the first thing, it's very piano driven this song, so I've sort of adapted the piano little melody at the beginning around sort of bar chords. Now you don't have to put this in, you can come in straight with the open chords and just come straight in with the singing. But I think if you can do this it sounds really cool, so if you can do a, an E minor 7 chord, okay, and we're going to put the little pinky, that's going to go on the 10th fret on the B string, so we do this little and then bring it up, so you're doing like the proper E minor shape, so we've got this, and a little finger, second finger off, that repeats, and then we go to the C minor 7, okay, so again, just over that bit, so we got the, the E minor seventh shape, okay, so little pinky is going to go on the 10th fret and then it's going to go under for the proper E minor, that's going to come off and then we're going to take the, the second finger off, so let's do that really slowly, so we're going to go that bit repeats go into a C minor seven there, and then we go back up going to go into an F major 7, G, okay, now the F major 7 there, I'm doing it with a, a C bass in, so if you take a regular F major 7, all we're going to do is move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret on the A string, little pinky is going to go underneath, 3rd fret on the D string, and then we're going to go into a G, a little sort of a mute there, so play it twice, two mutes and then a G7, so we get this, so again all of that intro I'll just run over that again, so we got, C minor 7 there, F, G, G7, okay, and then the chords to the um, the verse, so we've got a C, now you can play a regular C, uh, I'm doing a C again with a G bass in, so same as like we did on the F, we're just going to move the 3rd finger to the 3rd fret on the low E string, little pinky's going to go 3rd fret on the A, okay, just think it sounds a little bit biffy, really nice, so we've got a C, E minor, F, G. I think it's nice to do the G with a second, third, and fourth finger. Then we can do this little embellishment doing a G sus four. So that's just putting your first finger on the first fret on the B string. 
So we got silicon tube inside a head can switch to overload. But nobody's gonna go to school today. She's gonna make them stay at home. Okay, then you got this little pre chorus bit that goes into the F. Daddy doesn't know G standing. C. As good as F. F, no reason, stun the F, no reasons why reading does she need to be shown. It's nice to put this little embellishment around the G there, so we play the, you know, the three finger G. Little pinky up one, so that's third fret on the B. Then we go G7. Take the first finger off and then back to the little pinky on the third fret on the B. I think it's a G6 chord, so again the You get that nice little embellishment there, okay? Then we're into the chorus, which is the uh, same as the verse, which is C. Tell me why I've done E minor, more. F, into the G. Mondays, tell me why I've done my Mondays. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Holding on the F there. And then we stop on the G, okay? And then we got this little... Uh, into the second verse. So if you do a regular C this time, so pick the top E string and you're just putting the little pinky, you know, third fret on the B string so you get us. And they go F and then the G and the G7 and then the verse repeats again. Okay, so uh, that all goes through again. you got your verse and your chorus. Now, after the second chorus, uh, you got this little bit where he holds on the A minor. Down, 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 shoot it all down. You got the C there. E. F. G. Okay, and then you got this little sort of high piano melody. And so I think at this point, it's nice to go up and do a. You know, a C chord, but doing it as a bar chord off the E string root. And you can get this little... You know, just picking sort of the... Doesn't have to be any particular picking pattern. I just think it's nice to pick those notes up. So I'm picking the, if you want to try, you know, something a bit more accurate, the D. G and then pick the E B G B and then we can go through I think it's nice to you can do this with the regular chords like we've done with the verse but while we're up here it's quite nice to keep it on the bar chords so we've got the C E minor F and then there's little stops on the G there again so C okay and then we've got the little this is where it slows down in the song we've got this little you know lead into the second chorus To the chorus again. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. Tell me why I don't like Mondays. I wanna shoot. Ooh, 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 ooh. The whole day down. And we'd finish on a C there, okay? Uh, so that's pretty much the meat and potatoes of the song. So that just leaves us with a strumming pattern. Now what I pretty much use throughout the song is a, is a down, down, up, up, down. So... so that's down, down, up, up, down.
pretty much all you're going to need. Okay, so thanks very much for watching. Hope you all dug that, my version of that song. Uh, and like I say, you don't have to play, you know, a semi tone low, you can do it in standard tuning. Uh, I just wanted to keep it accurate to the original. There is a, quite a lot of tutorials for this on YouTube. So this is my version, so I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Uh, great song, great memories of this song. I think it was number one back in 1979. And, uh, you, you know, the great band, the Boomtown Rat, sort of, a, a, you know, a pop punk, punk band. And, uh, you know, even though Bob Geldof comes in for a lot of stick, I really appreciate it because he had a, a really poor childhood and, you know, th this was sort of his escape doing this. And uh, I know he's sort of very political now with all the live aid and all that, but um, but he's a get up and do it sort of bloke, you know what I mean? He, he doesn't just talk, he actually does things and uh, you can't take that away from him. So uh, there we go. If you've got any requests for anything 50s to modern day within reason that's going to work on an acoustic guitar, I am going to be doing some electric guitar lessons when I get round to it soon as well. So if you have got any requests, you can either comment in the post below or a good way to reach me these days on social media. So I'm Wayne R Guitar on Facebook, Twitter, and now also Instagram. And uh, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a like or a follow on those platforms anyway. But that way, if you want to, you can send me a personal message. And I do always reply to messages. Uh, just got respect. I get hundreds of requests, so I do sort of have to hemp at them a little bit. But don't let that put you off. Please keep your requests coming. Thanks everyone who subscribed, as always, and continues to do so. Really, really appreciate it. It really means a lot. One way that you could help me out, well, first of all, please like this video if you really dig my version of this video. Uh, another way, you could hit the little notification bell down there so every time I post a video up, which is either once, twice, sometimes three times a week, if you get around to it, you'll get notified and you can get on it straight away. Uh, and another way is just share my videos, you know, uh, word of mouth is a powerful thing, you know. If you've got any friends who play or they've been playing for a while or beginners, Please point them in my direction, uh, and it'd be nice if to think that I could give people a little bit of inspiration. Uh, you know, maybe you've been playing for a while, and because a lot of people sort of play and go through spells where they don't play, and then they'll pick it up again. So I think uh, you know, playing songs that I'm into, uh, you know, fifties to modern day, quite a varied taste on my channel. I think it's good to sort of inspire people. So there we go. So that just leaves me to say have a great morning, day, night, whenever it is you're watching and I'll catch you all for a lesson very soon. Take care.